Knoxville Raceway, fueled by speed. Why sprint car racing? Uh, just kind of, you know, that's what I was kind of born into with Danny and my grandpa and stuff like that. Just never, uh, never really had the interest of doing really anything but sprint car racing. And really, I think the best racing achievement to date, I feel like, is not really a win. I feel like it's being able to put a quality car together, you know, uh, and run 80 or 100 times with our own program, you know, with, with corporate sponsors on it and do it year, you know, year in, year out, it's, especially when the economy changes and, you know, tough decisions have to be made, you know, FVP, you know, we've been with them uh, going on nine years. So uh, that's, uh, to me, that's probably, uh, as, a, as a team, uh, that's probably, the, I think, the, our, our best accomplishment is being able to not only get sponsors, but in, in, and keep them also. Uh, when I crashed Randy Martin over here in three and four, uh, on the 360 Nationals prelim night, really for no reason, I drove it in there way too hard, not not meaning to even crash, but the car just took off on me and I ran to the side of it. And, uh, just wasn't probably not one of my most proud moments. You probably learn from more from your mistakes than you do your successes. And you know, every, every time you're out here, you learn something of you know of what not to do. You know, just that you know he was uh, maybe one of the pioneers that you know kind of that had his own team and you know ha, you know had had the corporate backing. And you know when when they unloaded things at the track, you know people people ask how do you keep it so clean or what not. To me, winning is your whole operation. You know your your, your presentation that you're professional. You know, probably the the most extreme sport you could ever get. You know, fighter jets in a gym. You know, guys going 140 mile an hour, two inches apart. And I'm a fan. I, I know how tough it is to make some of the moves that these guys make, and uh, it's impressive. I would say 90% of my life is is uh, is with racing, or whether I'm on the track or not. I'm always thinking, worrying, trying to figure out what I did wrong, or what we can do to make our car car better. Or, um, other than that, I love you know spending time with my wife Heather and our daughter Michaela, and uh, we love the Kansas City Royals and you know love the Kansas City Chiefs. Afraid to lose, afraid to let everybody down that has always believed in us. Afraid to let the people win who don't believe in us and think that we're going to give up and think we're going to quit and think we can't do it. If somebody says, "Oh, you're not going to be able to do that. You can't make that," you know, you'll run through a wall to prove them wrong. Probably the biggest uh, biggest fuel we have more than anything is that Knoxville Nationals. I'd say. 85% of my thinking about racing is, has to do with this track and Knoxville Raceway. It's just such an iconic place to come and, you know, even coming here last night and testing, you just look up and you just look at, the, look at around us, you know, look at the Hall of Fame over there and, the, you know, the luxury suites and all that stuff. Pretty remarkable that we get to come and, and race wing sprint cars in a facility like this. That's who Brian Brown is.